Great morning, holy brothers and sisters, for the 17th of Cheshvan in the Kitsu Lakutim Maharan. Today's lesson is called a Beautiful Brilliance. The charity that a person gives to a true Torah scholar greatly increases and extends the concept of the clear and tranquil air. Then when a person who knows how to speak Jewish speech, that is holy speech, utters his words, they are written and carved out in the air, and they go forth and are heard at a distance. Then these words are written in the books of the other people, in whatever script is used in that country. Subsequently, the others find in their own books things that contradict their faith, and consequently, they convert to Judaism. Such stories have been told about many proselytes who came to convert in this way, and it is all the result of this phenomenon. Our words hold great power and can tremendously hurt or heal. But why is it that these particular individuals find things that contradict their faith and return to recognize the Jewish faith, while others find nothing at all? Know that it is because of the good, that is, the parts of the Jewish souls, held captive by the others. For as a result of the anti-Jewish decrees, taxes, and so on, they withhold good from the Jewish people and prevent them from performing God's mitzvahs. This good, which they kept from coming into existence, is thus held captive in their domain. In the beginning of its captivity, this good remembers that it came from a very holy and exalted place. Subsequently, however, the others overpower this good and suppress it within their domain until it is seized by and bound up with them and forgets its true exalted level. But when Jewish speech goes forth and is written in the books of the others, this good then discovers it there in the form of ideas contradicting their faith. Then this good remembers its true level and how it came from an extremely holy and exalted place. In other words, it remembers that it consists of parts of Jewish souls for whose sake all the worlds were created and the Holy One, blessed be He, conferred with the souls of the Jewish people to create the world and the souls of the Jewish people are above all the worlds. Now, however, this good is held captive in such an exile and it could perhaps face annihilation and perdition, God forbid, this good begins to grieve and to pine and to pity itself for having fallen from so lofty a place to such depths. As a result, it returns and reverts back to holiness. And all this is affected through the charity one gives to a true Torah scholar. From this, each person can readily understand for himself how much he needs to take pity on himself when he remembers the exaltedness of his intimate spiritual root. He might say to himself, I am from the seed of the people who are above all the worlds and who were God's first thought when he set out to create the world. What a degraded state I am in now, and God forbid, God forbid, who knows what is in store for me in the future, for the evil one wants to destroy me, God forbid. In this way, a person will take pity on himself and will strive to return to God. Realize and recognize how amazingly awesome you truly are. No matter where you are or where you are from, you are bright, brilliant, and beautiful. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow.